Network security is a very niche sector within the cybersecurity domain. And you can also look at it as a more specialized version of network engineering with a very big focus to good security principles within a network. These are some of the main reasons why a network security engineer commands a higher salary as compared to a network engineer. And trust me, personally speaking, being a network security engineer has been a game changer for me. And for those that are interested in, let's say, working in cybersecurity in the long run, then transitioning from network engineering into network security can be so beneficial. In this video, what we'll do is because I have given a lot of network security interviews, what I thought was, you know, why not share some of the technical questions, domains, concepts, etc. that you need to know if you want to clear your network security engineering interview in the first attempt. One thing to keep in mind is that you will have a lot of overlap between questions from a network engineer's interview and a network security engineer's interview. Because look, at the end of the day, to be a successful network security engineer, you need to ensure that you are a good network engineer. And on this channel, I've made a lot of videos for those who want to transition into network security. So you can please check the different playlists or videos if you're interested in that. From the interview perspective, the networking things that you need to know are routing, switching, wireless networking, etc. Now, I always say this is that whenever you're studying routing for an interview, always master one of the routing protocols. So that could be preferably um, vendor neutral example BGP or um, OSPF out of these two make sure that you know one routing protocol well the timers the path manipulation etc so let's say you want to go with OSPF so make sure that you know OSPF routing well similarly with switching the regular stuff like VLAN spanning tree protocol etc now VLANs also is very important from a network security perspective because network segmentation can also be viewed as a security principle that should be deployed within network. And again, wireless networking is pretty important because in today's day and age, you know, most devices connect wirelessly into networks and being able to achieve optimization in wireless networks from a network engineer perspective is very important. Therefore, you also need to know what wireless networking is what are WLCs, what are access points, how they communicate with each other, what are the different authentication mechanisms, etc. Along with these, the regular networking questions like the different layers of the OSI model, um, different port numbers, what applications operate at what ports, etc. And as you can already gauge, this first part that I'm speaking about is probably going to be the same for a network engineer interview as well. And that exactly brings me to my first point is that you first need to know network engineering, and then let's add the security bits on top. One of the most important things from a network security perspective is the use of firewalls. Therefore, expect a lot of questions on next generation firewalls on your interview. Now, what you can do is you can um, narrow down on one specific vendor because look, at the end of the day, the main principles around what a firewall does is very is, is the same, basically. It's just that different vendors do it differently. So whatever vendor you're comfortable with, you can narrow down on that vendor. For me, it was Palo Alto. And therefore, from that perspective, you need to know all about zones, interfaces, how you can assign interfaces to zones, what is high availability, um, what is SSL decryption, which is a very good feature on next generation firewalls, um, also called as deep packet inspection. You can term it as that as well. Um, and all the advanced features that a firewall contains and the logic behind them. Another important thing is you need to know what VPNs are and how you can set up VPN tunnels between two different sites. And a classic example of this would be a site to site IPsec VPN, for example. It's always good that you have good hands on practice building and setting up these site to site VPNs in your um, virtual emulators. You can use EVNG, GNS3, whichever one you use. But make sure you practice these because they will ask you a couple of questions about VPNs because it's such an important topic from a security perspective, especially network security. Coming back to firewalls, you need to know about security policies. Security policies are nothing but security rules that allow or deny traffic that are traversing a firewall. So you need to know the concept and the idea behind security policies the rule ordering when it comes to security policies, why it's so important that, you know, you got to have one rule above another rule, 
the different types of rules such as authentication rules security rules nat rules uh, policy based forwarding etc and all of these different things i'm speaking about i have been questioned about it on my network security engineer interviews so if you do all of these things as well as what i'm going to speak further i think you should be good scenario based questions are also the trend when it comes to these type of interviews for example you know the interviewer may ask you something like you want to enable a certain type of traffic flow between device a to device b what are the different considerations you would keep into mind or some troubleshooting based questions if there is traffic traversing a firewall and for some reason it stops working what are the different things you look at just so that they can understand what your troubleshooting process is and how you go about the whole uh, thing if it happens in your workplace and the best way to tackle this is is that um, you always go by the different layers of the OSI model so whenever you're troubleshooting any network related problems or issues always start with the physical layer then you go into the data link layer network layer transport layer session presentation application etc this is a trick that i learned from one of my mentors so whenever you're given any network or network security troubleshooting questions if something is not working or if you want to fix something always use the approach of going bottom up from the OSI layer another very important thing to keep in mind is that when you're answering these scenario based network security questions always use the star methodology the star methodology stands for uh, situation task action and result so when you're constructing your answer make sure you go by the situation first then the task that you had to perform the action you took and what was the end result because most of the times what happens is you know uh, when a situation based question is thrown to an engineer they just answer okay i do this i do this i check this um i run trace route or i check the routing or i check the security policies the logs etc but it's very important to say what you actually achieved out of solving that problem and that is very important because look you're possibly put up against a lot of engineers who are equally good when it comes to technical stuff let's say equally good as you or better than you for example but the game changer is how exactly you fixing that problem has benefited the organization or what did it result in did it give you some form of accolades did you get a shout out um did you save the day wearing your superhero cape all of that stuff so make sure that you follow the star and focus specifically on the result and many big companies like amazon google microsoft etc they all follow these star based methodologies so incorporate it in your answers and uh, you are set for success in these interview rounds aside from the technical stuff being a network security engineer also requires a lot of good coordination between different teams stakeholders etc I've made a separate video on the roles and responsibilities of a network security engineer and in that video I have mentioned how it's so important as a network security engineer and I do this on a daily basis where you've got to speak to different teams um different stakeholders because they come to you with requests saying that oh this traffic was working earlier but now it's being blocked by the firewall then you've got to check on the firewall what's going on and then get back to them coordinate the testing with them etc similarly you'll also have different teams let's say are running different projects on the IT landscape itself and they want to now permit certain types of traffic they will come to you you've got to coordinate with them liaise with them get to know what exactly they're trying to allow follow the principle of least privilege which is very important from a network security perspective so also focus on this in your interview and i'm pretty sure you'll also be asked about you know how you would allow communication between a to b and you always follow the principle of least privilege which means you give access only as much as it is required nothing more than that nothing less than that so yeah coming back to coordinating with different teams because of the nature of the job it's very important that you know how to communicate well and you can facilitate um a good working relationship with different teams so focus on your soft skills your communication skills um in the interview because that is also something that is very important from a network securities roles and responsibilities perspective so any interview and if i was interviewing candidates as well this is something i would focus on as i said technical skills 
usually are very transferable. You may be working on one vendor, let's say Fortinet, the company works with Palo Alto. You can learn, you can bridge that gap. But things like communication, character, personality is something that probably takes a longer time to learn and develop. So try to build that as part of you. Also something which is not very related to the interview process, but let's say rather more focused on when you actually get the job is uh, email communication. Email communication is very underrated. You need to have good email communication standards. Trust me, working for almost five years, that's my biggest takeaway. If you know how to write good emails, explaining issues, documenting points, Trust me, you are already a gun when it comes to the technical stuff. Okay, great. But the other stuff, this is what actually establishes you. So yeah, that was it. Um, I spoke about the technical stuff. As I said, routing, switching, wireless, firewalls, the different types of authentication and wireless networking, what firewalls are, what they do, the different features that you can use with firewalls, VPNs, IPsec site-to-site -site VPNs, um, and the other soft skills, the star-based methodology, um, answering situation based questions, how you can approach troubleshooting questions, as I said, going bottom up in the OSI model, all of this stuff, you do this as a package and you are well prepared for your network security interview. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.